hello everyone welcome back to the course and today we'll start creating the react native project and uh, this is the react native website you can visit it for documentation so let's get started there are two ways one is cli and one is expo we'll be using expo we'll use this command so just copy it and uh, open the terminal let me create a project folder we'll have two set of folders one for the client and server so also make sure you install node.js otherwise this command won't work let's just name it client okay so this will create all the boilerplate code for our application just wait a second and it will be finished okay so this is finished now we'll be using a vs code to open this project i've already opened the project uh, here's a project so just close the terminal and uh, let's see the boilerplate code uh, actually let's just uh, run the application first to see what it looks like just cd to clients folder and, and use npm run ios this will actually run the application on your ios device make sure you also set up the x code for that okay so the application is running let me just show you the ios device okay here it is and it's actually building just give it a second and it will run our application okay so our application is working and as, as you can see this code is coming from app.js this is the default component let me just change this to code with nomi and you will see it is hard reloading so whenever i make a change it will auto reload the application so now let's create some folders i will be using images in this folder and now let's create a components folder we'll store all the components in this folder then we need a screens folder to hold all our screens we also need a theme folder to hold all our theme configuration like backgrounds and text colors so let's create an index file as well okay we will also be using redux in our application to store user and restaurant data so uh, let's create slices folder we'll be using redux toolkit this is it for the folder structure now we will need some images throughout the application so i've already downloaded some of the assets so let me just copy and paste them in here okay so these are the images that we'll be using in our application i will leave the link of these resources in the video description this is it for this video in the next video we'll start designing our application so see you in the next video